Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Asian Psycho, and we're gonna be back with the NX Standard re variant review of the Scorpion Family, uh, or rev Family Reviews, I should say, or, or, um, of the Scorpion Family. And this time, we're gonna be taking a look at, like I just mentioned before, the NX Standard variant of the Scorpion Submachine Gun, the Scorpion Mod. This is um, your modified uh, Scorpion with the integrated uh, silencer that the Scorpion Mod is indeed known for. And the silencer, just like the silencer on the Chris Spec Ops is very very significant the silencer on the, uh, the or the integrated suppressor on the scorpion mod is very very key in the scorpion mods uh, mechanics and performance issues it's like i mentioned like i mentioned the um it's very similar to the suppressor, the integrated suppressor on the Chris Spec Ops, and what it does and improves on the Scorpion, uh, on the Scorpion mod over the original Scorpion variant. So, without further ado, let's get started on this review. So, just going down a list of um, you know re uh, statistics here. I don't really feel that it's necessary to uh, talk about its background information as uh, opposed to combat arms because it is an NX standard variant. Uh, I don't think you can buy it for permanent anymore uh, because like I like about last year, Nexon did scrap all, nearly all of the permanent sales of uh, nearly all NX standard weapons. So unfortunately you can't no, uh, you can't get the Scorpion mod for permanent anymore unless it's through like a special sale or something like that. So you can only buy it through, for, for 1 through 90 day durations and for the standard submachine price. You guys all know that. And because it's NX standard, um, you don't really have a rank requirement that you know that's required of you to in order to buy a scorpion mod so there you go so we're going on the uh, list of statistics here the damage on the scorpion mod has been increased according to combiners wiki the, once again these stats i am taking from uh, combiners wiki so very, uh, very big shout out to them for providing the numer numerical stati statistics Blech. can't speak to that either statistics so the damage on the scorpion mod is a 33 so um it is just like the scorpion black in that it offers a one point increase in damage over the original scorpion and um one thing about the scorpion mod is that just like this chris spec ops who are uh, uh yeah whose integrated silencer um does not feature damage reduction because it has a silencer because it's a special kind of integrated suppressor um this integrated suppressor on the scorpion mod in turn also does not have a damage reduction factor in uh, factor applied to it um either that or it's got a reduced you know reduction <laughs> redundancy reduced reduction uh, damage reduction or some of like that so um yeah, that is the case for the Scorpion mods uh, damage uh, or the integrated silencer on the Scorpion mod, so you don't need to worry about its damage being reduced by its integrated suppressor, which is nice. Um, moving on to the portability, uh, portability and recoil and accuracy and um, rate of fire, they're all the same. Pretty much the only difference that the uh, Scorpion mod offers over the original Scorpion variant uh, in terms of sheer uh, statistics is the fact that it has an increased point of damage. And because this is a very fast firing submachine gun, any increase in damage that you can get for any Scorpion variant is always very, very important and it will always definitely help you out a lot. So, um, just like the Chris Spec Ops, the uh, the integrated suppressor on the Scorpion mod is very, very key in its performance and mechanics. Um, besides the uh, besides the one point increase in damage uh, that the Scorpion mod offers over the original Scorpion, the integrated suppressor is what really makes the Scorpion mod different from the all its other predecessors or all the other Scorpion variants that we've seen so far, with the exception of dual Scorpions, because those dual Scorpions are in a class of its own. But anyways, um, the Scorpion mod so let's talk about a little bit about the integrated suppressor um i will be well most of the things i'll talk about about the scorpion mod in terms of its integrated suppressor is very similar to what i mentioned in the in the uh, chris spec ops uh review that i put out er earlier like maybe two three weeks ago um if you guys have not seen that review i highly suggest you guys go out uh, go and check out check it out because what i mentioned there about its integrated suppressor will probably be mentioned again here so there's going to be a lot of things i will repeat and for those guys who have watched the chris spec ops review i'm going to be you, you'll notice that I'm going to be repeating several things again. So, let's get started on uh, our discussion here of, of the integrated suppressor of the Scorpion mod. And first of all, like I men mentioned about its damage, the, uh, the integrated suppressor has the on the Scorpion mod has the very beneficial um, kind of factor in that it does not have a damage reduction um, factor applied to yeah, applied to it. Or either that, or it's just like the, it's, it's like the M4A1 SOP mod in which the integrated suppressor does not take off as much damage as a normal silencer would. Like if you say you were to buy a silencer off from the GP modification shop, and you know you were to uh, you were to slap it onto a, a normal Scorpion, so. There you go, suppressor is very good that way. The suppressor also reduces your overall recoil spread and kickback 
um, how it actually behave or how it behaves exactly, it go kind of goes like this. I feel that the integrated suppressor on the Scorpion mod reduces your recoil spread, not by its overall like. Well, it does. I feel like it does help your overall spread, and that makes your overall spread a little bit smaller while you're spraying. But the main difference in the Scorpion mod's recoil spread is its is its, is the rate at which your spread increases. I feel that it is much it is much slower and thus much more manageable than the original Scorpions because of the fact that it has that integrated suppressor on the Scorpion mod. And um, in terms of kickback, its kickback on the Scorpion mod is also uh, very much so reduced. You can definitely notice that the re recoil kickback is much more easy or easier. You must have grammar. Um, is much easier to manage than the original Scorpions. Uh, Scorpions recoil. So there you have it. And uh, the integrated suppressor is indeed very very useful in those aspects. Now um, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the integrated suppressor's uh, muzzle noise on the uh, the Scorpion mod is different from your standard um, silencer sound. Um, I do believe this muzzle noise is shared by other. Uh, I believe it's the same uh, muzzle sound that the Chris Spec Ops has as well. So <laughs> fancy that <laughs> that they happen to have you know the same. Um, muzzle noise and yeah that's pretty much it for the scorpion mod uh review pretty much everything else about the scorpion mod like the trivial stuff like the uh the sprint drawback or the sprinting animation and sprint drawback uh is kind of different but they can be ignored one thing i do want to mention about the sprint drawback animation is when you sprint with the uh, scorpion and you stop sprinting your character has this kind of annoying like animation where it draws the scorpion up up to your right a little bit and then readies it i don't really like that because uh, it kind of throws off my rhythm with you know, my quote unquote rhythm with the scorpion mod. I don't know. It just it just kind of I like I like to predict when when my character or my model is ready to fire a gun again after uh, after it's done, he's done or she's done sprinting. And the scorpion mod's kind of kind of weird uh, sprinting animation kind of throws me off on that respect. But in the in the end, I can get used to it. It's not like it's a big deal or anything. So. Yeah, that should conclude the Scorpion mod uh, mod review. The Scorpion mod is indeed a very good submachine gun, a very good um, improvement over the original Scorpion for those guys who are indeed Scorpion enthusiasts. And if you guys do have some spare NX uh, lying around and on your account, then I do highly suggest you guys buy the Scorpion mod because it can do definitely do a lot of work for you as you guys can probably see in this gameplay. I do get hacked a lot by two certain people, two very nice people. But anyways, that's their problem. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. This will conclude the review on the Scorpion mod review. Next up is going to be on the Scorpion mod Mark II. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys next time in the Scorpion mod Mark II review. And have a good day, guys, and I'll see you guys later. You can shoot that today.